preacher. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And so today we make the next step. You've already come forward to accept Jesus Christ. Today you make that next step of identification totally and completely with his death, with his burial, with his resurrection. The water is actually a symbol of the grave, the old life, all of the past to be buried here today. As you come up, it's in newness of life in Christ to live a whole new life that God has ordered and ordained for you. And so water baptism is a beautiful symbol of the burying of all the past, the renouncing, the burial, that I might now just really live totally, full on, completely for Jesus Christ. And so if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you may take the next step and be identified with him in the water of baptism. Praise the Lord. Peter said, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So as you come up out of the waters, just expect God's Spirit to come upon you and anoint you for that new life that He has for you. Because we're going to live now no longer by the power and the energy of the flesh, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, that new life that Christ has ordered that we should live.